beautiful child in the world. This is your Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, holding hands with you this day. I love you, my child. I gaze deeply into your soul. We are one, united. I am your bridegroom, God. I am the Son of God, the Messiah, your Redeemer, your friend, lover of your soul. My Lord, I love you. I love you with every fibre of my being. I gaze deeply into your eyes. You are beautiful in my sight. I see us in heaven. I see myself in my spiritual form. I see you so clearly. I love you, precious one. I have been waiting for so long for such a time as this. To spend one-on-one -on -one time with you each day. To bring you to where I am allow you to see my heavenly realm, to walk with me through paradise. I want to show you so many things, my child, things that have been hidden from mankind, things that need to be revealed before the world is wrapped up like a scroll, things the world needs to hear, the mysteries of God revealed on the earth at this time. I see my Lord Jesus before me. We are on the porch, the little porch in heaven, my favourite place, the place where we dance, the place where we talk, my place to be with him, my secret place. It feels like we are the only two people in the whole world. His gaze is so deep. I am encapsulated by his love, his divinity, his glory, his kindness. He does not judge me or condemn me. He just loves me unconditionally. He knows me. He knows everything about me and all I want is to be with him night and day, day and night on the earth and in heaven at this time. I praise you my Lord that I can see you such as this while still existing on the earth. I praise you that you have opened my spiritual eyes to see your face, to dance with you in glory to recall these words for the nations, to speak with you one on one, to see you so clearly with my spiritual sight. Praise you for opening my eyes to see, my ears to hear, my heart to know and understand your truth, your love, your glory your passion for mankind. Beautiful one, I thank you for recording these words for the nations. I will draw all men to myself. I wish to declare my truths upon the land. I wish to open eyes, ears, hearts to know me. I wish for the whole world to understand that there is life after death, that there is heaven and there is hell, that there is eternal love and eternal separation from me. It is up to my children to choose life or death, eternal life or eternal separation from me. My child, I am releasing these words to the nations so that hearts are changed, so that knees bow, 
so that there is a spiritual awakening across your earth at this time to my love, my glory, my heavenly father, the Holy Spirit, my sacrifice for the forgiveness of sins, my death, my resurrection. One day I will judge the living and the dead. One day I will judge all souls and those who believe in me, those who confess their sins, those who repent and turn from their wicked ways, those who choose to follow me, to love me, to obey my commands, to listen to my words. They will walk into paradise, into eternal love and peace and joy. They must be born again. They must know me. They must be filled with my Holy Spirit. But those who walk away, those who live a selfish life, those who do not love me, who mock me and ridicule me, who hate me, who will not follow my ways or my teachings, who want to walk life alone without my help. They will be separated from me at life's end, my child. They will not enter paradise. They will be judged for their sin and the wages for sin is death. They will be separated from my light, my love and my glory. Those who reject me will be rejected. I need this message to be made clear upon the earth. For people are not listening to my holy words. People are not reading my holy Bible anymore. People have wandered so far away from my truth. People do not worship. They worship money and fame and riches and glory and beauty. They worship man, things, material possessions. But who is worshipping their God, their creator, your heavenly father? Who is praising his holy name? The one who watches over you night and day. The one who thought you into being, who created your soul. The planet you live on. The food that you eat, the animals that you care for. The trees, the rivers, the streams, the clouds. The sun, the moon, the stars, the galaxies, the universe. Universes upon universes. Do you think all this is a coincidence? No. Everything has been designed perfectly by his will, his intellect, his command, his words. His design is perfect. And he designed all people to love and know him, he has placed eternity in your hearts. Why do you think mankind is so drawn to eternal life, to heaven, to religions, to gods? It is placed within you. You are all searching, searching for truth. But I am the way and the truth and the life. I am the way to heaven, the holy lamb that was slain for the forgiveness of sin and life everlasting. I am the gate to heaven. You must enter through me, through my holy blood shed for you in Calvary, my precious blood spilled for mankind to cleanse you of all sin and unrighteousness, to set you free on the earth and in heaven. My blood will set you free, my children on the earth. 
You just need to believe. You just need to be born again and receive my Holy Spirit in your life. You need to repent and turn from all that you are doing that is wrong in my sight. And I promise you will be forgiven at life's end. I will not judge you for your sins, for I died for your sins. You will be washed clean by my blood, my sacrifice, my redemption for your soul. You will stand before me without sin and blemish, for I died for your sin. I took the punishment so that you do not have to be cast out of my kingdom so that you do not have to go to the place of weeping and gnashing of teeth the place of separation from God I need the world to know I need the world to believe the world is searching for answers at this time, looking for truth. Yet who is searching for me through my holy words? Who is looking for me for righteousness, for peace? I am the Son of God. I came to the earth to reveal heaven, to reveal my Father to destroy the works of the devil, to make a way for mankind to enter into paradise without sin, to be forgiven, to break the chains, the chains which bind you, my children, emotional pain, mental, physical, spiritual pain. I can set you free, my children, but you must believe. You must put your hope and faith in me. You must put all your trust in me, my children. And I promise to take care of you. I promise to be with you in heaven as I am with this beautiful maidservant of mine, my daughter, my bride, my creation. I will gaze deeply into your eyes, my child. I will dance with you in paradise. We will be one. You will fly with me in heaven. You will spend eternity in my care. But you must just surrender your whole self unto me. You must trust me this day. Place your hands in mine. Do not look to the world any longer. I can satisfy all of your needs. For I am the Son of God. I am the Messiah. I am your Lord and Saviour. Your Deliverer. Your Freedom. I can make you whole. I can lift off the depression, the anxiety, the fear. I can break the chains, the generational curses over your life, the demonic influences. I can heal the pain, I can take away the hurt. I can fill you with my love and truth and life and light. I can fill you with the peace, the peace of God which transcends all understanding. I can make your joy complete. I can make you whole, my child. I can reveal unto you your true purpose. I can put you on the right path. The path that leads to me. The path that leads to heaven. The path that leads to happiness. Satisfaction. Come to me this day, my children on the earth. I want all of you to enter into paradise at life's end. 
I want all of you to dance in glory, to worship with the angels, to see all that we have created for mankind, for those who believe, those who receive this message. Read my holy Bible, my children, read my words. Allow me to speak to you through my holy word. My holy Bible is living and active. It is spirit-filled for enlightenment of your soul to awaken you, my children, to awaken you to a new life, a life everlasting, a life with me, your heavenly Father. I want to fill you with my Holy Spirit. My Holy Spirit will change you, transform you, make you new, renew your mind. My Holy Spirit will counsel you. Do not walk another day without my love, my presence, my glory filling your soul. Lift your eyes towards heaven this day, my children on the earth. Lift your eyes to paradise. I promise my children never to leave you or forsake you. I promise to be with you right until the end. And when you come to paradise, when you leave the earth, you will not stand before me in fear and trembling, in trepidation that I will judge you for your sin, in guilt and shame. You will stand before me pure, holy, righteous, without spot or blemish, washed white as snow, washed through my word, washed through forgiveness, washed through my blood, washed through my love. And you will be so filled with joy, you will not stop smiling, you will be so happy, my child, because you will know that you are saved unto eternal life, that you will walk into heaven forever. You will never leave. You will never die. You are eternal. Think upon this, my children. Think about a life without end. For in heaven there is no death, there is no decay, you will live forever, your spirit is eternal, and there is a new creation, a new heaven and an earth, for you, for all souls who believe, and my beautiful maidservant, my bride who sits with me this day, is going to show you heaven as I reveal it to her. My two beautiful maidservants who record these words for the nations are being taken on a thousand day journey into heaven. They are my witnesses in the world at this time for heaven. My two maidservants who love me, who have walked with me for most of their days who know me so well. Listen to them, my children. They speak with wisdom, my wisdom. They hear my voice. They hear the, the voice of the Holy Father. They are filled with the Holy Spirit. You can trust them, my children. They are not the false prophets. They are not here to deceive you. They have no hidden motive no hidden agenda. You do not need to doubt them or second guess what they are saying. They are pure of heart, without guile, and they are chosen by me to deliver these messages to the world at this time so that souls are saved, lives are changed, and many come to salvation through my name. My children in the world, reach out your hands and place them in mine. Come on this journey into heaven. My beautiful servants have already written 
a book on heaven and they are releasing it at this time. Millions of words are being released at this time. These are my two servants, the ones I have chosen, and I have poured out my spirit upon them. They release my oil, the golden oil of heaven. They stand before me night and day. They are clothed in sackcloth. Oh, how they long for those they love, those who have passed from the earth. Deep sadness fills their spirit because they have lost so many people that they love. They are clothed in sackcloth. Yet still they get up each morning. Still they praise and worship my holy name. Still they stand before me in spirit and truth, wanting only to serve me, to give unto me their whole heart and soul. They are pure holy, cleansed, redeemed, sanctified and they do all you see before you now, for you. They do not do it for themselves, for they know me. They can be with me any time. They see me so clearly. They record these words for you, my child, for the world, for the souls of man, for me because I have asked them to. Ove re botor bati shiki na takia ki gaolo hor bati ki ashiki ti. Blessed Lord Jesus, I love you, and I thank you for this vision on this day. I thank you, Karahashi Kikia, for speaking to the world, for calling out to the world to come to you to return unto their God. Please open spiritual eyes to see you, to see your face, to seek after you this day. I pray that every soul has an experience of their God, that every soul is awakened this day. In your name, Lord, because you are holy, you are righteous, you are our God, the Holy Son of God, who takes away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on your children on this day. Beautiful child, you sit with me in heaven. You see me so clearly. And I love talking to you, my child. I love revealing my mysteries to you. I could speak with you all day, and I want to speak with you all day. Beautiful one, allow your mind to hear my words. Allow me to speak with you, even in the times when you are not recording these words for the nations. Allow me to speak with you during your day, to show you my creation, to speak words of wisdom and knowledge into your heart, mind and soul. Allow me, my child, to walk with you as I walked with my first two creation in the garden. Allow me to walk with you on your earth. Yes, my Lord Jesus, this is all I desire, to walk with you in heaven and on earth, to feel your love, your presence in every part of my life, I wish to know you, to understand your ways more, every day more and more of your glory, your love, more of you, Lord. Beautiful child, I know your heart, I know how much you love me, how you long to dance with me, to be with me, and I thank you. I thank you for coming before me and I thank you for this precious love. Oh, how beautiful is your heart. Oh, how much I love you and would die for you all over again. 
for your sin, for your salvation, because I love you so much and I want you to be with me in paradise. Beautiful Lord, I could stay on this porch with you forever. This little place in heaven where we dwell together, where you speak with me one on one, where you reveal unto me your mysteries. My child, let us walk through the garden on this day. What do you see? We begin to walk and I feel so much peace. The atmosphere, the fragrance in the air is so beautiful. I can feel air, the cool breeze, yet I feel like I'm in my spiritual body. I do not feel completely solid, I feel light and free, yet I can feel the grass below, I can smell the scent in the air, I can feel the Lord Jesus' hand in my hand, I can hear his voice, I can see him clearly. Lord. I see beautiful flowers all around, all different colours. I see butterflies. I see other people sitting and talking. They are so happy. Everyone looks like they are in spirit, in their spiritual body. Yet I can see what they look like. They are so pure. This place is so pure. It's like our earth, but it's different. I can see that I'm in heaven because the people look different. They radiate with light, with glory. They are pure and they are happy. They are happy just to be here. I see people sitting on rugs. I see people walking, looking at your creation, smiling, laughing, chatting. This is a beautiful vision, my Lord a beautiful vision of what is to come. All along this beautiful river are people enjoying being with each other. Oh, how I long to be with those we have lost, those who have left the earth. I long to see them, my Lord. There is deep sadness in my heart for those who are not here. You know how I long for them how I miss them, how I grieve. My child, go to the blanket in front of you. There are people waiting there for you this day. I walk over and look down and I see my mother and my three grandmothers. I see them waiting for me. They look up and smile. I fall down onto my knees in such joy, such awe that they are here. So, thank you, Lord. They reach out and hold my hands. They do not speak. They know that I am here. But they also know that I am not here for long. That this is just a vision that the Lord is showing me. That the Lord is allowing me to see. A glimpse of my future. They hold my hand and I feel their love. They smile. I know that they are safe. I know that they remember me and that they love me eternally and that they are waiting for me to return one day and be with them. I see their faces so clearly, yet they are in their spiritual body. They are all together. They are happy. They are at peace. There are no chains from the earth binding them. There is no hidden sin or depression. There is no fear in their hearts. They are completely at peace, at rest. Thank you for this vision, my Lord. Thank you for showing me my family. Those who lived those who died, those who returned unto you. 
and I know this is a glimpse of the future and I cannot wait to be on this blanket with the ones I love, the ones I miss, the ones my heart longs to see. I know that one day we will be reunited in paradise. I will see them again. I look at them closely, loving every moment of being with them now and not wanting to leave, not wanting to be sent back to the earth. Oh, how I long to stay here, to be with them forever. Can I stay here, my Lord? I do not want to return. Even though I love my family on the earth, I also love this family and want to be with them and want to stay with them and talk to them. Oh Lord, it's so hard to be sent back. I do not want to stop holding their hands. Stay with them much longer. My Lord, thank you for this vision. I will remember it always. It will be precious in my heart for all eternity. It is so hard for us on the earth, Lord, to love deeply. Then to lose them, to have to live our life without them, years and years and years of pain and sadness. It is so hard for us, Lord. This earth is so hard. So much pain, so much grief, so much sadness. Thank you for reassuring us this day that our loved ones are with you in paradise and that we will see them again. Thank you, my Lord, for this word today. Thank you for reassuring us that our loved ones are with you in paradise. You know how hard it is to lose the ones we love. You know how hard it is for us to leave the earth, to return unto paradise, to say goodbye to the loved ones on the earth. You know how hard it is, the fear and the terror we face as we approach our own death. Lord, I pray for peace and comfort to fill the hearts of all your children on the earth at this time. Those who have loved and lost. Those who are grieving. You know my heart, Lord. You know how I long to see these beautiful ladies again. Thank you for this vision. My child, you must return to the earth now. You must... You must say goodbye. It's only for a short while. For you will see them again. You will be with them in paradise at life's end, I promise. They are waiting for you. They are safe in my care. They love you eternally. It is okay to say goodbye at this time. For you will see them in paradise because you believe in me. You have confessed your sins. You follow my ways. And you will walk with your family in paradise, in eternity. I look at my mother, 
She is so beautiful. She looks just like she did on the earth. On the last day that I saw her, she looks exactly the same. And she smiles. She has no heavy burden. I see her so clearly. I feel her love. She knows that I have to reach her to the earth. That I must leave. But I feel a reassurance from her. I feel a confidence that I will see her again. That I will see my beautiful grandmothers again. They are here. They are in paradise. And they are waiting for me. And I know that one day I will be reunited with them in heaven. with the ones I love. Thank you for this precious vision today, my Lord. Thank you for showing me the ones I love so deeply. This vision will remain in my heart whilst I reside upon the earth until it becomes reality. I love you, my Lord, and I thank you for this precious day in heaven. Amen.